Blessings, Gemini, Soul Travelers, and welcome to Venusian Empress Oracle. You are joining Priestess Melissa for your weekly reading. We're going to be doing that in honor of Valentine's Day using the Romance Angels cards. We are going to get your main message from there, and then we're going to tap into the Cosmic Visions Tarot to see what's going on. We've got an Ace of or sorry, the world and Queen of Pentacles energy. Interesting. So you may be coming into a new cycle, getting more balanced. You know, your home, your money, things of that nature. Could have gotten a new job recently. That was an increase for you. Ooh, Ten of Swords energy though. Perhaps you went through a pretty bloody battle to get to where you are, though. You know, you had to go through your hard knocks for sure, is what I'm seeing here, Gemini. So what else is going on here today? Oh, Six of Wands, but you're going to show them. You always get the last word, the last laugh, as I heard. <laughs> okay, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you. Now, keep in mind that these are general readings, which may or may not resonate with you, but if they do... In any way, thank you for hitting the like button to keep the videos circulating and getting out to those who need the messages. And it's awesome that you show support to my channel and I truly appreciate you for it. Um, also, let me know down in the comments how these are resonating with you as well. I truly appreciate those who do let me know and offer their wisdom as well. So thank you for that. Also, if you'd like a personal reading, don't forget you may reach out to me at venusianways.org. All right, that's the only way to get a reading with me. So definitely don't get caught up by any scammers. We are also going to be getting into the Past Life Oracle cards as a special bonus this week to see what past life influences may be coming up for us, particularly around the person that you may be thinking about at this time. We are going to get love advice from the Lover's Oracle cards, and also we're going to answer your question. What is your burning question? Is this the one? Should I waste my time any longer? Well, we will flip the divination coin at the end, so get your question ready. Let's do it, Gemini. Thank you to the Romance Angels, the Angels, Ancestors, Way Showers, and Guides. We honor you for the messages for the awesome Gemini. Thank you. And blessings to you, Gemini. I truly appreciate all of your support to the channel. Your likes, comments, shares, donations truly are appreciated and do not go unnoticed. And thank you so much for letting me know how you like the videos. You know, put down in the comments how these are resonating with you, how the messages are helping you. They keep me motivated and are truly appreciated. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification so you don't miss any of the weekly or daily readings I put out. What is up, Gemini? Love for Gemini. What we got going on for Gemini? I suggest watching these for your Venus sign, just so you know, because Venus is your love. So let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So maybe, you know, your picker has been off in the past and maybe you need to maybe pull a good friend or two, or two in, excuse me, and just ask their advice. It doesn't mean you have to take it, but you know, it doesn't hurt to kind of like get a second opinion, if you will, right? Because maybe you've seen some red flags and you don't wanna, you know, ignore them. You wanna ask your friends, perhaps, is this something I need to be aware of? You know, maybe they're gonna tell you to pull back and spend some time with them or spend some more time alone, you know what I mean? And focus more on yourself with that love yourself first card. So right now, find a good friend or two to get that second opinion from. It's what I'm hearing right now in regards to a love situation, all right? Um, that way, you know, you're not just going off of what you think and how you feel. You're getting an unbiased but a good opinion at the same time because you want to be happy. You don't want to just, you know, settle, if you will, for any, you know, up, if you will, any offer that someone might give you, and you're not that type of person anyway, I get, Gemini, all right? So we definitely are uh, making sure that uh, 
We're making good choices here. One that's really going to make our wishes come true, right? With the Nine of Cups energy. All right. So what else do we need to know? One more shuffle. Hanged Man energy. So this is going to help you perhaps to get that perspective that you need so that you can make the decision you know that you need to make about someone that you may be concerned about at this time gemini or have questions about and you just want to get an unbiased opinion on it ten of cups in reverse wow so this is definitely something you could be dealing with with your partner at this time not very happy at this time you know perhaps with your situation um, again been seeing some red flags and uh, you know, right now is probably the time not to get involved in another relationship, especially if you're working on getting out of one, if that's your case. Uh, but I would say, you know, definitely uh, talk to some good friends about what they think about the situation. Try to be as unbiased as possible, but give the facts. But then, you know, really be honest with yourself about what's going on and are you just you know putting up with something that you're not perhaps necessarily happy with knight of swords in reverse in the past so is this being honest with yourself or perhaps someone not being honest with you but it is a air sign energy so this could be you all right not uh, being honest with yourself or not seeing things clearly in the past and you want to make sure that you're not ignoring any red flags nine of wands in reverse you know you want to be in a place where you've learned from your lessons and that you don't have to be in this place of being guarded and maybe you just want to make sure that you're not being like a over cautious if you will ten of pentacles in reverse you know because i feel like you're someone who doesn't want to waste or invest your time in something that is not going to be fruitful and productive that's not going to lead to something that you really want all right 11 11 energy so this could be um someone that you have dealt with or are dealing with but it doesn't feel like that perhaps you feel good about starting a new cycle with someone again there feels like there's questions here you know what you know perhaps and you just don't want to waste your time is really what i get from this energy. all right we need to know more about these red flags what all of this is about for sure because it does feel like somebody's trying to perhaps court you if you will and i can't tell if this is a past person at this time so we're going to take a look a little bit further and see what's going on all right knight of swords in reverse this knight of swords in reverse so something was actually you know maybe what it was hard for you to understand is that something that didn't seem like it was a victory for you or maybe you weren't seeing that something that happened in the past you know the red flags perhaps that you didn't see was actually you know um, they say that what you don't know can't hurt you in one sense that can kind of be true but at the same time you know i feel like this was an opportunity for you to learn from something in the past and not continue to ignore things you know when you see them it's like you know when you're not being treated right okay and then so something starts to feel off within you and you're like well what is that A magician in reverse you know it's like it seemed like it was something that you really wanted but at the same time it doesn't feel like you manifested really truly what you wanted all right and maybe again you saw some things in the past and regardless of that you really felt like there was some potential here but it does feel like that there was a lot of competition for whatever reason, you know? 
It doesn't feel like this person was giving you everything that they could have given you. It doesn't feel like, you know, you were being honest with yourself about what you deserved as well. I feel like you have been putting a lot of work into yourself, into taking the blindfold off, turning your back on these situations, all right? And starting to really get a foothold on your life and moving forward. And I think you really do want to be careful about who you let in and that these people aren't deceiving you, all right? Because you can do well enough by yourself. Could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces energy with that Two of Cups or Lover's energy. Um, I feel like, you know, this person is just doesn't feel very committed. Maybe this person wants to come in and say that they want to do the work, right? They want to make all those dreams come true. But it just feels like, you know, it's that pie in the sky kind of energy. And I feel like you feel like you've learned your lessons from this. I feel like this could be an energy of someone coming back. You know what I mean? But you've already seen the red flags or you are seeing red flags that are similar to a past situation you've dealt with. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Absolutely. Chariot in reverse. This is not the right time. Something is not right. There's like a third party or something going on here. Oh yeah, Seven of Swords energy. If someone is trying to come back, I think if you talk to your friends about this and you really tell them what's going on, they're gonna help you to see and you're definitely gonna send this person on their way. All right, King of Wands in reverse. He's not gonna get his way this time. <laughs> he or she, whoever it is that generally does get their way. And they're gonna be looking back. You know, wishing, hoping, and praying is what I see with this energy. And it may be causing, you know, a fight because they see you've changed with that tower in reverse, right? You don't have to cause a tower. Just letting them know, you know, where you're at can be enough, you know, to cause that disruption within them not getting their way. I'm very interested to see what's going to come out in these past life oracle cards. Hit the like button if you're resonating so far. And definitely let me know how this is resonating with you in the comments below. All right, past life. Hmm, this is very interesting. Ooh, we have Native American and vowels. So, you know, when I think of Native American and, you know, oh yeah, very honorable knighthood energy coming through here. You know, I feel like this is an energy of, um, a connection in the past anyway that it's almost like asking for someone's hand in marriage you know it's all those traditional things vows things of that nature may have been a hand fasting type of thing but very traditional and uh, honorable you know a baby mm, interesting Ooh, lots of chills here so you could have a child with this person, but they just feel like there's someone who, it's like you never know if you can fully trust them, if they're gonna keep their word. And it does feels like the main pattern that you may deal with within your relationships. It's almost like these people can, um, and maybe this person had a baby with someone else as well. I don't know. This is definitely something that you want to discuss with someone else and I feel like that's why it says let your friends help you because regardless of past life and how it may or may not relate to the present life, it does definitely feel like that this is a situation where, you know, it is going to cause you and it, and it has caused you to say, hey, this doesn't feel right. You know, the fact that you have been putting so much time and energy into you know healing yourself it's like that's why you were able to see these red flags and now this is an opportunity to get a again unbiased opinion about what you think 
or what they think may be going on and see how that matches up with what you see. All right? And then you can do what you choose to do from there. But in any case, let us see what is come out, coming out from the Lover's Oracle cards for Gemini. We have an energy of look inside yourself and examine what is causing you to feel this way. All right? What is causing you to feel a reason why there is a red flag to begin with? Surrender is coming out today and it says at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So right now, if you have a question about this particular situation, it says only time will tell. All right, I do feel like this was a very deep connection, but maybe a time that we need to just let it go for the time being and focus more on ourselves, all right? Loving ourselves, healing ourselves. Because even though they're kissing, look at this guy. It's like he's trying to get away. Where's he going so fast? Just saying, all right guys. So I just get that Knight of Wands energy once again, pie in the sky. Oh yes, I'm here. I'm here to work on things. I'm gonna make everything all better. No, this person has not learned their lesson, all right? Whatever that lesson may be, but I do feel like it's just an energy of being non-committal, you know? Even though they can put on a, a, give you a good story, you know? But it's like they're always just ready to go, got somewhere to go, out the door. All right, let's get an answer to your question, shall we? In three, two, one. And the answer is yes. All right, Gemini, that's awesome. I hope that's what you needed to hear. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to stay awesome. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day. Hit that like button, subscribe, and bell notification. See you soon. Bye for now.